Hello, this is Louis Kim. I made the cloud messaging example. If sending a notification on Firebase Web, the iOS and Android get the notification with the image. I use each device FCM token. Let me try to send a notification from Android to iOS. If I touch the send to iOS button, it sends a notification to iOS. Sending a notification on web is still OK. Let me try to send a notification from iOS to Android. If I touch the send to Android button, it sends a notification to Android. Let's see how to setting and code. If you don't have a project, create one. I did it on my live video, so you can follow it. You also need a Firebase project. If you don't have it, Please create one and follow the instruction. Then add Firebase messaging package to the project. And you should add request permission code to your project. I will show it later. iOS messaging setup. To use the push notification function, you should set up on iOS. Open the iOS folder using Xcode and add capability. The push notification and background mode. And check two options.
Then move to Apple Developer Site. You should have an Apple Developer Account. And move to key section and register new key then get the key ID and download the key file. The key extension is P8. And move to Firebase console and upload the key file with key ID and team ID. and move to identify your section and create an on app ID. To create, you need an app under identifier. Click App IDs and add bundle ID and description. Don't forget check the push notification option. and register. Then move to profile section. Select iOS app development and select the app ID which you created. I check all options and add provisioning name. And download the profile. and uncheck the automatically manage signing option and select the provisioning profile which you downloaded And add request to user permission code and check it once in the app. Next, you should more setting to show image in notification. Just follow the instruction. Add target in Xcode and product name is image notification.
and add the target in PUD file. I added the use framework option in the target. Then edit the code in notification service.m file. I added the Android requesting permission if the platform is Android. And to get the log, set background message handler function. And once in the app, get the device token. Cause we need it to send a notification. For example, the token is like that. So once sending a notification, I use that token to send a notification. Add token this line. And you need a server key to send a notification via REST. Go to Cloud Messaging, Cloud Messaging API, More button, Manage API in Google Cloud Console, and Enable. I already enabled the option. After that, you refresh the Firebase console. Then you can see the server key string. The key starts with AAAA. Please update the server key, iOS FGM, and Android variable to yours. This text is the title 
and this button sending a notification. I reference that link to send a notification via REST. Please visit this site to understand more what parameter means. The registration on the IDS for token and add title and body. Then use post HTTP and send a notification. That's all. If you have any question, please leave the comments. Thank you. Bye-bye.